Well, I've been talking with some people today, and basically, I've been doing a lot of thinking, thinking about the last few days, actually. And, you know, there's that obvious question, Mike, what are you going to do now? And the election and the attitudes with elections, uh, to me, are, are lacking. You know, for two years, I've been putting out very strong evidence, irrefutable evidence of extreme violence. I've had two attempted assassinations on my life by gunfire. Both of them before Donald was even shot at once, by the way. But there's a lot that I have to think about. And, and the truth of the matter is, if I address both parties, I think that we need a lot of repairs that have to be done. Now, if I turn over and just start talking to Democrats, especially in California, I'm going to have to say, well, as to what I'm going to do, I'm going to do what I have to do because there's a lot of things that I am actually working on. You know, I have to conduct a lot of repairs. I have to get back a lot of that research that's been stolen and it's all over the place. I have to have that emergency management budget. And I'm going to hit hard. I have no choice but to hit hard. You know why? Because I am still trying to compete to build the best AI that we can possibly have. So I'm looking at artificial comprehensive intelligence as something that is beyond AGI, general intelligence. I'm looking at, looking at AGI and working with it in clusters being driven by ACI. And this means that I have to hit law points harder than anyone. I have to do that because the work has to be strong. It has to be the best arguments because the device has to be right. This means that I'm going to be rubbing people's nose and their flaws as hard as I can. And a lot of people are going to think that I'm just being mean. And I'm saying up front right now, AI is going to be driving more stuff than a lot of people can dream of. And if that device isn't constructed right, we're in trouble. And that means I'm going to be hitting people probably as hard as I can. I'm going to say, well, Democrats, well, here we are. We have to clean house. And I'm not joking. People are going to have to go to prison. They did things wrong. We have policies that are not constitutional. They have to be removed. They have to be changed. New ones have to be put in place. We must maintain the constitutional mindset. We must back our citizens again. Of course, I've been saying things like this all along the way. But it's more crucial now because the race internationally, when you compare the 1.4 billion people in China, in India, that's 2.8 billion people. How many people do we have in this country? People were not in a game here. This is for the big marbles. We can look at it like it's a game, but we have no choice. We have to build those mass economic models. We have no choice. And that's going to encompass everything. That means law. That means that already, if I turn my focus and turn on a dozen machines and say, here we go, let's start looking at things. I'm going to start ripping people apart. I'm going to start putting people in jail because of the corruption. But we have to do this. We have to do this. It's part of the repairs. So that we'll be able to stand up and say next time around, 
we didn't let vanity and pride get in our way. We addressed the job before us and we decided to get it done. We also have to understand to look at the nation and realize that we need to work together because repairs need to be made all over the country. And we have to keep that in mind at all times. So if I'm looking at California again, we have to be able to set an example. And that means a lot of hard issues have to be looked at very hard. There's a lot of things that have to get done. And truthfully, I looked at a lot of them. I came up with a lot of solutions. But having violence against me and the destruction of archives, which is something that the Constitution states comes with a mandatory death penalty. This means, again, this is not a game area. Now, I'm going to be going after people, and this is the way I'm looking at it. Governor Newsom works very, very hard. Very hard. I have seen it personally. When I investigated things, he was telling people, get the job done. Do the reevaluations. Do the investigations. But the truth is, when we jump down to the subordinate level, it didn't happen. We have people grandstanding. We have people going after their own career decisions who have mixed priorities. This is not a good thing. It's really not a good thing. There's a lot of work to be done. We have to repair archives. We have to repair. We have to search history. We have to re-embrace the origin of the country and those things that were common sense. We need to re-embrace things as basic as midwives and doctors exploring issues for hundreds of years. And we have to be respectful and understand that decision area and how it has historically belonged in a certain area of respect. So we need to reinforce that historical research. Because, hey, look, I'm a guy. But the truth of the matter is, there are a lot of issues that women are going to have to resolve with doctors and with other women. This means the girls get to get together and rediscover the long-term history of midwifeism and those hard decisions. And a lot of the research that I had that was accumulated in the archive, well, it's mobile. It's someplace else because it's been stolen. It needs to be returned. The archive must be repaired. But there are other people with other archives, other historians that can participate. On the whole, with everything, everyone, every issue, we're going to have to work hard, but we're going to have to reprioritize a lot of issues. There's simply no choice. So my promise to say that I'm going to hit a lot of these areas very hard is because I have to do that. Because if I don't, something will be overlooked. And it'll come back and bite us in the you-know-what. Because AI has a future. There's a lot of other areas that California has a future in. I have a long list of spark, good spark, to be able to get 8 out of 10 vested citizens into a new asset building program. I want to do things with education that are mind-boggling. I worked very hard for decades to build a new educational upgrade. Again, 
It's been stolen. We have people that are talking about they did their job, and at these subordinate levels, that's simply not the truth. They did not protect the Constitution. They violated their oath. They did grandstanding. And I'm going to hit a lot of them really hard. And some of them, I'm going to put them in prison. If there's any way I can do it, I'm going to put them there. So that again, having been said, I am committed to growth, progress, and mass upgrade on a scale that many of you I don't think understand. Because I've gone places, I've done things in rooms where few people could understand what it is I was even working with. Well, except for some people out there like maybe NVIDIA and some of these big AI companies might understand bits and pieces. I have pieces of technology that I'm getting ready to disclose about because people don't live by bread alone and I'm not a career politician. I have many other interests. And being an archiver and running a nonprofit had different priorities than running after profit. It's simply the way things work. So I will be doing a lot of things and people will be confused and they will see conflict. And I'd like to tell you, I don't consider that building and creating is a conflict. If I have 29 different areas I'm going after or 400 different areas I'm going after, that building is forward moving. I'm going to close and say, I have to hit this hard again because why national security is involved. Again, at levels that many people wouldn't understand, it would take too long for me to explain. And there are certain rules about what information can be disclosed at what points. But basically, at this point, that's an answer that I have for now. Promises of hard work, promises of bringing more stress, promises that, yes, I'm going to be working on some stuff. And some people need to swallow their pride so that we can get on with what has to be done. I want to thank you very much. I guess I do have to mention that because I've been laying out evidence and because people haven't cooperated, that means I can't finalize certain items. That means it's inappropriate for me to even hand a concession speech in as a presidential candidate, having billions of dollars in damage done, being blacklisted, going through a special election that was rigged. Now, we could split the hairs on how that was rigged and different explanations. My evaluation was that I was going to get about 33% of the vote, perhaps 38. The computer estimates are 45% or more. So it wouldn't have made a difference as far as Gavin staying in office, but it would have made a difference in the future, that future of now, this election. Because those mobile broadcast RV vehicles would have been connecting people to AI as a new system, the most advanced system ever developed to be deployed mobily, would have been showing the spark of new ideas to people. There are candidates in this state that are losing votes because that archive did not get deployed. It's been stolen, it's been attacked, it's been damaged, some of it's been destroyed. It must be restored. As for me doing what I usually do, run for governor, well, my normal intentions were that if I lost in the presidential election, that I would be moving forward to governor. I've stated that previously. But I still can't let go 
of the material that I've already put down on the table that's being worked with. We have to go through the chronological order. It's going to be very ugly for some of you, but we have to do it. But I would say that it's highly likely that fairly soon that I will, in fact, be validating that I'm a gubernatorial candidate. It may not necessarily be for California. I might get disgusted and decide to go back to Arkansas or go to Utah or go to one of these other areas. I lost both of my parents during COVID and partially because of this enormous violence. My inheritance has been negatively affected. As far as my dad goes, there's questions as to whether or not it was a homicide. Very serious questions. My life is still in danger, so I don't want people laughing because I'm not doing a bunch of grandstanding and playing the beauty contest and bringing out that vanity. Because my life's in danger, and I understand something about decentralized violence that many other people didn't understand. I tried to convey to people about words and propaganda and how you have to be careful about what you say and how you could end up having decentralized effects that are not what should be happening. I did a lot of research in that area. I see the time's running a bit late, but I want to get some material out there up front because there's a lot of work that has to be done. I want to thank you for your time. Michael Crosby. Yeah, I'm still running for office, folks. And I'm trying to get the job done. Thank you.